to a church. But first, before we do anything, we're going to worship God and celebrate His goodness as we sing praise uh, to Him. So as the band come onto stage, why don't we stand up? And if you haven't already done so as you stand, why don't you turn to the person next to you and say welcome to them. Uh, nice to see them here in worship. <laughs> before you now and thank you again for who you are. You are the eternal God. As always everyone it's a joy and delight to be among so many friends and bring greetings not only from the Episcopal community but from the Presbyterian community, the Roman Catholic community and indeed all the Christian people of truth who are delighted and overjoyed that David and Pam have come to join us in our common work of making the love of the Lord Jesus known to every person. Mm. In the old English prayer book, or the old Scottish prayer book, in the community service, there's a description of the church, which is blessed company of all faithful people. For me, this is hugely significant, hugely significant. It doesn't matter which denomination people belong to. If they have a living, loving relationship with the Lord Jesus mm. Christ, then they are members of his church irrespective of who they are or where they come from. And we all have a task, each one of us, of being an evangelist for God and his love, of sharing the good news that we have experienced in the Lord Jesus with one another. Mm. The great challenge is finding ways to do it that actually attracts people rather than scares them away. Okay? Alrighty? So, we have to find churches and I agree with friends in this community have done this in an excellent way. And so David, I want to 
commend you to all the Christian people here. You're already being prayed for with your wife, Pam. We're delighted that you've come among us. We hope that you'll be very happy here and that God will bless your ministry. That through your efforts with your community here at, at, at the Church of the Nazareth and with your sisters and brothers in the Christian community in Troon, we may bring many people the experience of the love of the Lord mm. Jesus Christ, that in Him they may find life and life in all its fullness. So may God bless you yes. and all the work that you do with all the people here. Thank you very much. says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with <coughs> thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. As a church under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, we will affirm that through the Holy Spirit, the church and our pastor are brought together today. Recognise the freedom of the pulpit Acknowledging our pastor's right to speak the truth of God in love. Provide opportunity for our pastor to have sufficient time for study and prayer. Pray for our pastor, encourage and support him as he seeks to lead us in our task here in the church and our community. Work alongside our pastor and assist him in ministry in every way we can. Recognise our pastor's need for spiritual and physical renewal by providing him adequate holiday time and assisting him to attend helpful conferences and denomination <coughs> functions. Provide for our pastor to the best of our ability adequate compensation including travel and professional expenses and make an annual review of our total compensation support. Love our pastor and his wife and family with the love of Christ. And could you just come up for a minute please. I want you to know that what I just read out extends to you as well. Because God has called me to the gospel ministry, I covenant to Establish my ministry upon the authority of God's holy word, the Bible. Minister in the power of the Holy Spirit as I follow his leading. Give myself to prayer and the study of God's word. Pledge to be actively winning people to Christ. Demonstrate a love for the flock of God by visiting, caring, praying for the sick, and teaching others to evangelise and make disciples. Be honest with the use of my time, and to be diligent at being a faithful pastor. Strive to regard all persons with love and respect, carefully keeping all confidences shared with me. Seek to build up the body of Christ for works of service and use my influence to enlist the cooperation of this church in support of the Church of the Nazarene's emphasis on mission and holiness evangelism. When God is here, mm. because this is a day to celebrate, it's a joyful day when a church and a pastor come together for the sake of the King and for the sake of his kingdom. But I want to say to you, David, not every day in ministry will feel like this. <laughs> Some days are not just as joyful, even in the house of God. And yet Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. always. And then he says it again, rejoice. The Bible normally only repeats something when it's so important that we can't ignore it and we've got to get excited about it. <coughs> rejoice and rejoice. But sometimes the Bible uses double reinforcement 
when we're experiencing the opposite and we're reminded of how we really need to rejoice. But like Joshua, when he was installed as the leader of the people of Israel on three occasions at his installation, at his induction, God says, be strong and courageous, don't be terrified. We know how that feels. We're reminded twice to rejoice because joy is to be found in the Lord. And so in every day and in every circumstance in our ministry, we can minister with joy, even in the darkest and most difficult of circumstances, because joy is not dependent on external circumstances. Joy is something that fills our heart when we are filled with the Spirit of God. And in Scripture that we are filled with the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And if we are filled with that Spirit, don't you think our lives should show the difference? Don't you think our neighbours should notice? Don't you think that the power of God in us should create in us a clean heart, a pure heart, with clean hands as we live for Him? And Paul reminds us that holiness begins in our hearts and our minds and it guides our actions. It's not the other way around. And that list that Paul gives, and he says, now think on these things. That's not a list of you do these things and you're holy. No, you do these things because you're holy. Holiness is the outworking of what's going on in your heart and mind as the Spirit of the living God fills you, immerses you, and you're entirely filled and sanctified by the power of the living God. And he says, you know, that holiness can be taught and it can also be caught. Hmm. He says, whatever you see me do, you do it as well. and your friends I call you to lead them with love with care and compassion with wisdom and in the power of Jesus filled by the Spirit of God may you be all you can be to them as pastor and friend and may God bless you may he fill you may he thrill you and complete you as you live out this calling members of Trun Church of the Nazarene you see your new pastor and his wife standing here before you I call you to love them to support them to honour them in Christ to pray for them to stand with them to follow them to refuse to gossip about them or unfairly <laughs> criticise them <laughs> to give them hankies when they need it yes. <laughs> to be honest with them to forgive them when you feel you have to to give them grace at all times and to be part of what God is doing in this church together with them so if you're a member of the church of the Nazarene here in Trun and you covenant that you will faithfully commit to do this will you please stand now You know that Jesus turned the world upside down with 12 unsure people. I'm not sure how unsure they are. <laughs> but they're here. And together, he can turn this town upside down. 
with you and with God's people already in this town. And to the rest of us gathered here today, we're here as fellow pastors, Christian brothers and sisters, colleagues, neighbours and friends. And I ask you that if you will, in your own way, however that is, commit to love, support, encourage and work alongside David and Pam and their calling to tune. Would you now stand? <coughs> so David and Pam, I lay hands upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of his universal church, and in the name of the Church of the Nazarene, I now declare you, David, to be inducted to the pastorate of this church and these people, to work with them here in ministry, to be the church which Christ has called you to be. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yes, and may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Yes, Jesus. And give you his peace. Amen. 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 Nearest and those around them lay hands on the person next to you. And church, could you reach your hand out in blessing? Together, we lay hands on them in Jesus' name. And I invite three or four of those gathered here just to pray over them. As God leads you. Jesus. We are so grateful, Heavenly Father, for the brothers and sisters who are part of the true church family. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for their love and faithfulness to you. And thank you for all who have led them thus far. But we rejoice together with them today that you have brought to them David and Pam for such a time as this. Yes. And as they sense our hands around them and upon them, may more than that they know that underneath and all around them are the everlasting arms of Father God. Bless them today, your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Father, as a family, may they know your love. Yes. We know that geographically, it's going to be difficult as they await their first grandchild next Jesus. month. Jesus. May all be well and yes, may they be Lord. just a part of the whole family. Yes. Lord. And may the fact that they are in tune mm. contribute to the love yes. that they have for family. Jesus. May this always build their family up. Jesus. May this posting be a posting where they Jesus. see family full salvation. Jesus. We pray that they would know your hand yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. 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 Father, bless David's ministry as he proclaims your word Sunday yes. by Sunday and on other occasions. Mm -hmm. And may there be signs and wonders following the preaching of your word Amen. as you work through him. Yes. Bless him as he ministers and bless those who he ministers to. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. And Heavenly Father, as we welcome David and Pam to the family of churches in Trin, yes. we do ask your blessing on them, mm -hmm. that they will find a comfort and blessing in the midst of, mm -hmm. of those other Christians and other churches that yes. seek to proclaim the gospel in this town, mm -hmm. that they may be a blessing to others, and that the churches together as they come may be a blessing to David and Pam yes. in their ministry. For we ask it in Jesus' yes. precious name. Amen. 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 Lord our God, in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who bring us life without limit and Amen. show us love without limit. Yes. Pour your love upon these your two servants, yes. that they may know your blessing, that they may be surrounded by the prayers and praises of all your people, Jesus. particularly here in Trun. Yes. And that the Christian family here in Trun may be always a support and encouragement to them as they with their people seek to witness to your love 
and to bring others to a knowledge of your grace and mercy in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Yes. So, Father, we thank you for this moment. Yes. We pray that it's a moment that David and Pam will never forget. Jesus. We thank you for the affirmation that you have given them from heaven and on earth here today. We pray, God, that you will send them out from this place with confidence in you, with authority in your name, and with grace, peace, love, and joy in their hearts as they serve you as a couple called by you to this place for this time. And may we, as their congregation, family, friends, and colleagues, stand with them, bless them, and be blessed by them. And Father, thank you that you are a good God who gives good gifts to all of your children. And we rejoice in this today, in Jesus' name. Amen. pastor of Trim Church to come and lead us in the benediction. <laughs> I felt that Jim was giving me a liberty to just say a few words when he asked me to do the benediction. Yes. <laughs> of course. I just want to thank every one of you for coming here on this very, very special day, both for myself and Pam, and for the church here in Troon, both the Church of the Nazarene and the wider church family in Troon. It's been such a blessing. It's been a blessing for us to have been here since December. In fact, it's been a blessing from our first interactions mm. with, with the folk here. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming, for your love, for your prayers, for your support. I want to thank particularly people who have worked so hard in getting everything ready for today. Um, thank you for Michelle for joining us and leading us in worship, for Jim for leading us too. For all of your prayers, for all of your love, thank you. Jim prayed for me that, I think it's called the Aaronic Blessing, I'm not sure, but yes. Uh, and I want to pray that for you. Yes. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And may he give you his peace. So I pray, go in peace to love mm. and serve the Lord our God in the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. 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 You can cry, Pam.